Well, hey, look at you clicking on another video to help you improve with your sign skills. So now this video, it's, it's for the advanced learner or student. If you're beginning, it might be overwhelming, but you could try this anyway. I'm truly proud of you and just happy you're here to join me. You could use this video with, there's other two parts related with mouth morphemes, um, mouth expressions, and that video will really help um, go along with this video. So if you wanna watch them all, I think there's gonna be a total of five. So there you go. Well, hey, uh, my name's Melissa, and if I haven't met you yet, my, my sign name is this, and I'm just here to help, you know, support your ASL learning goals. I'm a CODA, I'm not deaf, I'm hearing, but get that I grew up with ASL as my first language. I was in the deaf world and deaf culture, my parents are deaf, my family, my friends are deaf, so, and so forth, anyway. Um, I've, I've just personally experienced so many, how do I say this, like um, barriers that really could have been uh, changed, these situations that's changed with, you know, maybe somebody know, know or understanding deaf people or deaf culture or maybe their sign language, you know? So, ooh, 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 I'm really excited. This is going to be a fun one. Uh, it's, you're not going to learn just typical words and vocab. No, this has got deaf, typical slang words. And so um, we're going to have fun with this one for sure. I know that the other couple videos you might have felt awkward with mouth expressions like these. <laughs> like you're like, what? But now in this video, it's kind of like that together with the word. So let's do this. Four, four. You're happy for four. For reals. Like, for reals. Like, hey, I won. For reals. <laughs> Sometimes deaf people will use the sign true business like this, but it's truly the same thing as true biz. Finally. Finally. So, like, finally, you've learned to sign. Don't say a word. Keep it a secret. Just like keep it a secret. The sentence could be, I need you to keep this a secret. Privacy screen is <laughs> these two hand shapes like this, block your eye with the letter Bs. And it means like private or secret, like you don't wanna see someone and you're avoiding them. Um, or like, you're looking at a conversation or you don't want to look at a conversation. Like I walked into a room, I went in and I noticed a girl and I tried to block myself from her. Sticky. Sticky. Like a sticky situation or it's murky, it's a situation that's not clear or clarified. Um, just hard to make a decision. Sticky. Like, I don't know, that's quite sticky. Mind breakdown or shut down. I heard what happened and my mind just broke down in disbelief. And this means I've been there before. Like, you know, you go to the mall and you they're all there and you've been in every single one. You've touched finish. You've been in all the stores. It's like, uh, been there, done that. Ugh. Now you might think this is related to vomit, but no, it's not. This is actually something like you don't like, you're not interested in, like, ugh. Um, like that color, I don't care for it too much. Oh, that class, I don't like it, ugh. If that makes sense. Funny, none. Or you also, some people do funny zero. And what that means is, that is not even funny. Or, yeah, no, you're not funny. <laughs> yeah, no. So, the sentence could be, ha, 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 funny, none. Feelings deflated or heart deflated. Like, you're not feeling good inside. Uh, you're kind of emotional. 
maybe feeling like an insecurity or confidence issues, you know, one of those, you just don't feel good inside. I'm feeling like this today. I didn't win, darn. Heart inflate. Now this is when you feel good inside, you're feeling great and amazing, you're feeling confidence uh, and positive vibes. So I'm feeling great today that you can sign or sign. Now, some people ask me, what's the difference between signing like this or signing like this? This is more of like baby steps, baby signers, very basic, trying to keep up and go with flow. Now this signing is ASL ready. So where, where you're guiding yourself. And I'm happy to be a part of your learning experience anyways. So it feels good for you. Thought like this disappears. My thought disappeared. Oh, like I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh well. I'm not sure. Or on the fence. You know, I'm not sure on the fence. So you could say, I don't know if I'm gonna go. I'm kind of on the fence. Which means you haven't decided just yet. Key brain or a squared brain, like Sometimes you're just such a pea brain. <laughs> or sometimes I'm just a pea brain. Um, and you know, pea brain, it could mean like moron or idiot or just a, uh, a duh move. I'm a pea brain. What is wrong with you? Like seriously, come on. Um, I guess it's kind of like a funny way or like an implied way to say, seriously, what's wrong with you, man? Come on. It's more like a gesture or so. Or a curious question like, really? Come on, tell me now. Tell me how. How are you doing that? Just how? Explain to me. Tell me. And the sentence could be, what's wrong with you? Seriously. The expression really work those brows, your face, your head tilt. Put those all together with your signing moved it moves, your hands. Connect them and for real, that is some ASL skill. Swallow to fish. Just like that, swallow to fish. Like, haha, got you, or sucka. <laughs> I fooled you, or I got you good. You swallowed a fish. You fell for it. I mean, why would you believe me in the first place? <laughs> Beat you, or um, I gotcha. With this handshake, you would throw it out like this. Like you're playing a video game, you won, and you're like, yeah, man, I beat you. And so your sentence could be, I won, I beat you. Yeah, yeah, doing the winning dance. Oh yeah, diss ya, or diss on you. It's kind of like I beat you, but it's palm down like this. So diss, uh, to put somebody down, to be like, oh snap, got you good. So if two people are like going back and forth dissing each other, it'd be, you know, kind of interesting to watch. Like, why are those two dissing each other? Ugh, like duh. Um, it's, it's the same kind of sign as sick, but it's nothing to do with sick or sickness. It's, uh, it just means like duh, like oh my God, or whatever expression your reaction to someone telling you something like hey I'm funny and you're like uh whatever no you're not <laughs> so your sentence could be uh that's not funny or uh you think you're funny funny none motor mouth or talkative <laughs> uh, somebody who talks a lot I talk a lot maybe you talk a lot maybe you know somebody who's a motor mouth <laughs> Sometimes I just can't stop like talking and it's just, I have a really hard time. It's like in my head, I'm telling me, tell me to shut up. And I still am a motor mouth. <laughs> so the sentence could be, your mom is talkative. <laughs> Center myself. You know, to calm, or it could be yoga. Um, just more to find my center. I need to find a calm moment to just chill. I need a minute to chill, to relax. Or I need a minute to escape and find relaxation. I mean, I do though, <laughs> I really, really do. 
so good. Like, man, maybe it looks like, um, it, the sign looks negative and looks awful, but it's positive. It's like, dang, they are so good at that. They're so talented, skilled in it. They're just an expert. Like, your daddy's so good at cooking. Wow. Off the point or beat around the bush. You know, someone's trying to talk to the point, but somebody's always trying to talk off the point. Get to the point. Like, knock it off. Stop going off point. And your next sign or word would be to the point. So to the point. Like, get to your topic. Stop going around the bush. Get to the point. Like, dang, you're really good. Or really skilled at something. Wow. It's kind of like this sign, but it's uh, crossing it over like this. Like, man, your paint job's amazing. Wow, I'm so impressed. Just mind-blowing. Good job, really. Pow. This is like awesome, or that rocks, man. Or like a record that we've won so many games. We broke the record, man. Curious. The letter F right here. Um, and it's just a sign, it's just a word that you have. But now when you add this tongue on a horizon movement, like you learned in the other video, it's like, I'm serious. Tell me the scoop. What's the T? I'm so curious. Come on, tell me what it is today. This handshape to the mind is stick mind, like a sticky note. Um, something that you don't want to forget, what you do is stick it on your forehead. I mean, literally, stick it on your head. <laughs> now, if you see my sticky notes on my head, man, there's so many all over the place. <laughs> so, you know the sign for learn, it's like this. Now, this one's a little bit more to learn and absorb. Absorption right here in your mind. So what you learn today, I really hope it sticks in your mind and you absorb it to learn. Put the thought in your mind, like to take a mental note, to put it down. Oh, oh, I, oh your phone number, you told me this, I'll put it down in my mind. If someone's reminding you about something and you need to maybe stick it in the back of your mind to prepare yourself so you don't forget, you'll say, okay, thanks with these hand shapes. Or you could put it front or put it in the back. Seriously, finish or knock it off. I'm serious, knock it off. Buy a hair, like woo. Man, you're right on time, in the nick of time. The race was won by a hair. Or two cars are driving and one kind of hit them off and just barely hit them. So close. So, well, hopefully you are enjoying all these new vocabulary words. It'll help improve your sign skills. Now, and there's a couple of other videos uh, that are like this, but less to mentally stick in your mind or to remember. <laughs> but I do hope you're remembering these from here on out. Now, don't forget to click the drop down box and the list of words are all there. Go over them a couple times. Now, remember, these are your non manual signals, okay? Those mouth expressions, your eyes, your head tilts, with the movement of your hands, put them together. And that will make you really look like you've got all the right parts in your ASL skills. So congratulations, you made it. And I will just see you next time. Bye.